Global Guns Arena in Prim Nevada will host SWA Mayhem. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you for joining us here tonight. It will be an action-packed night as Infamous will be in action. Sean Bryant and Chase Chamberlain, the second match of the evening, but the, but the big main event is what has people talking. As announced on Twitter, Chris Hero returns to the ring to accept the open challenge made by Gabriel Ace. Well, for right now, we'll be kicking off the show with Molly Murphy in action going up against Destiny. This will be Molly's first match since her match with Zero a couple of weeks ago. That was supposed to be a triple threat match until Miss Crawford interfered and took Aria Fairplay out of the equation. How will Molly Fair against this fiery luchador from San Juan? We'll find out. Two young prospects in SWA go at it right now. Anamiyaki rings the bell. This match is underway. Body slam already by Molly. As she gets the first licks in, but Destiny responds with a big elbow. Kicks her down. Molly is looking for a future title match, which uh, Destiny has to be looking for also. Oh, big moonsault. Knee drop. Destiny, I believe, has yet to get a win here in SWA. But that can all change. Big kick out. No count. As she drags her out, puts her up, only for a second, whips her into the corner, who might be setting her up, Tiger faint kick, big 619, Springboard dive, only a one, far too early, goes back to the cover, second count same as the first. Big body slam. As you see, Arya Fairplay and Selene Artemis duke it out this week on Uprising. Winner gets a title shot against whoever wins this match next week. Zero and Misha go one-on-one -on -one for the Women's Championship. Once again, that will be next week. That will be a rematch of Unstoppable. Match given to Zero by Misha. After Zero attacked Misha's protege, Miko Asada. But right now, the strikes are trying to find home for both competitors here. An exchange is going off. And Destiny gets the better of Molly there, but Molly's back up to her feet already. Off the ropes, drop down. Who rolls her up? Only a count of one. Another European uppercut. Off the ropes, diving European uppercut. Goes over the back, trips her down. Off the ropes, sling blade. This time Molly hangs on to the ropes, dodges that drop kick. Boston Crab is applied. Drops her down with that body slam. See the drop kick. Molly responds with the body slam of her own off the ropes. Another meteor. This time gets a two count. Quick two count. Nice springboard. 
Springboard Moonsault gets a two, but once again, it was a quick kick out. Dragon Suplex reversed. Reversed by Destiny. Off the ropes, another drop kick. Body slam floats over. Neckbreaker. Moonlight Drive Neckbreaker. Gets a close two. Shoulder up just in the nick of time. And Molly is going on the offensive body slam. Cobra Clutch Choke Slam. Big slam. When that elbow rocks, Molly drops her, picks her back up. Victory roll. Only a two. Shoulder is up. Molly is still in this fight. Destiny whips her into the corner. What does she have planned? No, Molly reverses her. Destiny reverses her. And finally has her. Looking for Tornado DDT, yes! Gets the Tornado DDT. And Molly is back up first. Tiger Suplex. Off the rope, sliding drop kick. The Destiny tosses it to the outside. What does she have in mind? Big plancha. Now 12, and Molly's back into the ring. He drags her over, but that head is a takedown. Whips her over her shoulders and goes for the pin. Kicks out. Destiny, big Hurricane Rana. Hits it at your PW Click going for a springboard again. Just another two count. The Tiger Suplex. He rolls over, grabs her. Another Cobra Cut Slam. Goes for the pin. Knee on the face. Kick out. Just as the two hit the mat. Big Meteora. One, two. Finally, Destiny gets some breathing room and goes on the offensive. Big drop hit. Tosses her outside of the ring. One, two, this time, three, near the stage, goes for the departure. Tosses her into the guardrail. Count of 14. Gets in at 15. Tiger Suplex, no block this time. Send over her back. Destiny sends her off the ropes. Molly plows right through her. Overcut Suplex. Destiny back up. Catches her. Big Benadriller. Benadriller. Oh, catches her, rolls her up. Destiny might have it. Only a two count. Just breaking down the leg as Destiny picks her up. Molly off the ropes. Leapfrog and to collide in the top of the screen. Rolls over her back. Tosses her once again, goes for the pin. Two. Oh, her collide. Reverse power bomb. Reversed into a power bomb. Molly puts her up on the top rope. What's she looking for? Her Karana. And it may all be over. 
made in Melbourne. And that is all she wrote. Made in Melbourne gets the job done. And Molly gets back in the winner's column. What a hard fought victory for her. Like trouble is a brewing in the back, but for right now, we're gonna send over to Melody Michaels, who's standing by with Misha and Miko Asai. not playing around, but neither is Miko Asada when she takes on Cecilia Crawford this upcoming uprising. Also on that show, Assassin will take on the debuting Duck Dangerfield. In that main event, our fair play was one-on-one -on -one with Celine Artemis. And for right now, Infamous take on the former Gen Z now named the Can-Am Connection. They are coming off the heels of a loss to Heat and JR Warren at Genesis. Can they rebound over a team trying to make ground in SWA? We'll see soon enough. It's always easier said than done. Especially when it comes to the teams here. The Supreme Wrestling Alliance. As Cole Anderson and Chase Chamberlain start the matchup. Infamous having a mild success here in SMA so far. Forming a group with the hot upstart that is Brian Rye. These two have yet to make significant ground in the tag division, but they're quickly making a name for themselves as Sean Bryant is tagged in. 
test of strength. Colt is now down on the, on the ground, pinned to the mat. Sleeper hold is locked in. Austin Rogue is now tagged in. As these two look to double team him. Austin Rogue caught in the headlock, spins around, hooks the back, drops toe hold, controls the back now. What's he looking for now? Face Buster! Sean Bright, another technical wizard we have in SWA. As he spins around again and gets Austin down to the ground, locks in that sleeper hole once again. Sean tags in. Tags in Chase as Colt is tagged in. Snapmare. Single leg Boston Crab is applied not for long. Chase gets out of it. Series of European uppercuts. These two will go at it with those uppercuts. And with that last uppercut, gets the job done. Colt gets the better of that exchange, but Sean is tagged back in. Infamous looks to do some work. On Colt. Who drops him down, drags him down, controls the back. Who slips out of it. Does Cole as he goes and tags in Austin Road. Looking for a double team. Sean kicks them both down. Snapmare. Side headlock control on the ground. Slaps his way out of it. And these two will exchange. And Austin gets the better of him. Single leg Boston Crab reapplied. Slipped out of. Austin bringing him to the Cam Am corner. Controls the back sidewalk. Sidewalk slam. Sean trying to create some distance. Reverses the Irish whip. Shoulder block. Goes for the pin and stacks him up, only a count of one. Sean able to tag in Chase. Colt is tagged in. Double team attack, once again reversed. Side headlock takedown. Calls for the break. Chase picks him up, but gets caught. Brought towards the corner. Oh, look at that unique back suplex. Only a one count, though. Tags in Austin. Reverses the powerbomb attempt. Controls the back, not for long. Reverses out of it. Oh, but he catches him. Death Valley Driver. Goes for the pin. One, two. two. Only a count of two. Shoulder up just in the nick of time. As these two will go at it. Near the center of the ring. Once again, Austin gets the better of Infamous on the exchange. Both tag pairs are tagged in. Caught in the snapmare. Colt gets uppercutted. Sean, superstar stunner. Superstar stunner out of nowhere. And Infamous gets the win. And it looks like they may have something to say.
big challenge from these two to the tag team champions. How will Koa and Hopkins respond? And as the victors walk away, I will be announcing the first round matches for the Ultimate Eight Tournament. Noah O'Neal and Zachary Hopkins, the tag team champions, will face off in the first round. Tyson Cranston will go one-on-one -on -one with Aztec Love Machine. Johnny Unleashed will take on the Bullet Club's Chris Bay. And to round it out, Nick Awesome will face Heat. What an opening round we have for you at the Ultimate 8. That will happen in a couple of weeks. A big tournament in SWA. But Anderson Bishop is trying to currently get to a biker bar that contains zero in Liz Croft. Looks like backup has arrived for Zero and Liz Crawford. As you see on the screen, there will be a triple threat match on next week's Uprising. The winner will face Masato Keita on the Mayhem before Ultimate for the Open Weight Championship. That will be on the line. Brian Rye, General Warren, and Heat next week. And it has been confirmed the tag title match is a go for next Mayhem. Ephraimus takes on the champions. 4.0. How will 4.0 coexist knowing that they'll face each other in the first round 
of the Ultimate 8 Tournament. We will see. Well, right now, it's time for the main event of the evening. Gabriel Ace versus Chris Hero. Chris Hero returns to the ring. Except the challenge by Gabriel Ace. Will the ring rust affect the, K, the king of the KO? That young knockout kid hasn't wrestled a match in two years. But he has decided to come out of his hiatus to accept a challenge by Gabriel Ace. Ace, inspired by Melo's open challenge, decided to have one of his own. He's of course coming off a loss to Carmelo Unstoppable. Can he rebound back? Not if Chris Hero has anything to say about it. The King of the Kale steps into SWA in a main event. As Trey Count rings the bell, this match gets underway. That big, like the big kick, just blocked by the big frame of Chris Hero. That backdrop reversed Chris Hero's attack. Ace will have a big challenge on his hand as he faces off against the former PWG World Champion. Cause his leg gets caught with a leg. Speaking of Mello, he and Corn had a bit of a face-off at the end of last week's episode. It looks like a match it may be in the works for these two down the road. We will see Oh, trying to catch Chris Hero out of that corner with that spinning back fist. Hero saw it coming. Veteran of the ring has been wrestling since 1999 Chris Hero has been everywhere that you can just about wrestle basement dropkick was a mainstay in PWG CCW and Ring of Honor short tours and pro wrestling Noah Faced off against the likes of Morishima, Nagata, who goes for a victory roll, blocks it. Of course, former tag team partners, former king of pro wrestling with Claudio Castagnoli. Chris Hero is a very decorated competitor. Ooh, but he gets caught with that back fist. Shakes it off, though. Big elbow! As expected, this match will be filled with a bunch of elbows. Neck breaker by Gabriel Ace. Key lock is in. It's locked in. Snapmare goes back to the rear naked choke. Rope break. Hero going for some offense has failed to mount. Much of any ace has been on him. Big Larry, it turns him inside out. Goes to the pin. Two. Only a count of two. Oh, he's got face off with those elbows. Big left handed elbow. Rocks him off the ropes. Oh, goes for the kick. Ace responds with an elbow of his own. Jack is got him to the outside. Ace could be looking for a dive here. But Hero gets back into the ring. They collide near the middle of the ring. Sends him to the corner. Big super kick. Slice spread. Ooh, Chris turns him inside out. Basement drop kick. Ooh, catches him with a small package. Two count. 
Snap mares him over. Chris could be looking for some elbows. But first he has to maintain some ground. As it's been almost all A so far. Discus Lariat. Blocks the Northern Lights. Hits a DDT. Off the ropes goes Hero Flying Lariat. Flying Clothesline. Russian Leg Sweep. Ooh. What a stretch. What a stretch. He had his leg hooked, pu pulling back on his shoulder blades. Couldn't have felt comfortable at all. Ooh, elbow. But Ace catches him. Huge head scissors. Ace picks him up. Knife edge chop. Does it again. And Ace has been rather dominant. Cold gold hits. Goes in a pin. Kicks out. Just in the nick of time. Cravat suplex. And Chris trying to regain some momentum, but Ace once again blocks him. Once again, he is blocked. Picks him up for the suplex. Too big to carry. Hero. Finally gaining some ground. Elbow and a body slam. Picks him up. Turns him inside out with that lariat. Another head scissors. And Ace is back in control, just like that. The former SWA champion is a skilled one, but he's going up against a veteran of the ring. Judo takedown, cravat, knee lifts. Another cravat suplex. Hero picks him up. Power bomb like maneuver. Drags him out of the ropes. Picks him up. Big pump kick. Another neck breaker from Ace. Ace is in full control. Snap mash it over. Rear chin lock it is applied. As Chris reaches the ropes. Rope break given. Hero with another elbow. Misses that discus lariat. Pump kick misses. Oh, he's trying to go for a submission. Chris gets out of it and lands a series of elbows. Head says it over again. And Gabriel Ace has full momentum on his side. Again, this is the Jesus. Big slam. Kick out. 2.9. This is the main event of Mayhem, ladies and gentlemen. And you are seeing two of the very best in professional wrestling. Nailing DDT. Big elbow. Goes for the pin. Two. Another close kick out. Elbow. Judo toss. Oh. Prism trap. Prism trap locked in. Not for long, Chris is able to get out of it. Back to the judo toss. Another one. A straight left. Rocks hero. Another head scissors. Pro 
Cravat, knee lifts. Big boy senton. Ooh, the series of kicks. The plane has been even out. Big elbow, another one. First hero. May have just knocked out. Gabriel is cold. Leg drop to the back. Ace trying to slow it down, trying to stop the offense of Chris Hero. Chris able to break free. Back to the cravat. Back to the knee lifts. Knife edge chop. And this two collided at the bottom of the ring. What a match it has been. As Ace has lost all the momentum he has had. In the beginning of the match, as Chris Hero tosses him to the outside, takes a breather. So does Ace counter four. Ace gets back in. Ripped off the ropes. Big kick. Another leg drop. Hero gets sent off the ropes. Big sick kick. Who locks in a sleeper hold? Oh, he's touching the ropes. Too close to the ropes. Chris Hero. What does Hero have in mind? Big suicide dive. Goes for the elbow, misses. Back to the knee lifts. Back to the knee lifts. Back suplex. Used as a counter by Gabriel Ace. The start. Oh, Cravat Snapmare takes him down. Goes up to the top rope. Double foot stomp. Big elbow. Goes for the pin. That could very well be it. Shoulder up. Shoulder up. Ace gets the shoulder up. Hero drags him out, picks him up. This is the kick. Does not miss with that cravat suplex. Ace is out on his feet. Gets put into the corner. He's up on the top rope. Headbutt knocks him down. Ace. Lariat from the top rope. Big clothesline from the top rope. Complete shot. Off the ropes. Bang a ring. Pinfall. One. Two. Once again, Hero kicks out. DDT. Another stat mare. Hero picks him up. Cyclone kick. Big discus elbow. Goes for the pin. Two. Not enough. And Ace is fired up. Big sick kick. Chris Hero's back up, Snapmare. Great chin lock is applied. Next breaker. Knee drop. Hero's back up, another neck breaker. Seated neck breaker. Ooh, look at that beautiful whip. Beautiful arm whip. Just like that, Harold's back in control. Misses the elbow. Jacks him out to the center. Big elbow. 
the killing blow. One, two, and that's it. No! Dead man's hand. Ace kicks out and hits dead man's hand. And he gets the win. He pulls it out. Ace gets the win over Chris Hero. And just like last week, it looks like Corn. That's right. Corn is out. Maybe he has something to say this time. Looks like a triple threat for the world championship is set in stone. Corn puts up his SWA world championship on the line against Gabriel Ace and Carmelo Young. 